Okay, I'll put my one wind up again, and here's a little thing. I'd like to see one wind take this and loop it around to keep this rain fly so it would be underneath. So if it rains, it don't hit here and the water wick down. Then I was telling them about a storm shield. The zip in down here, up to here, on both sides to cover the front in case, you know, it was really bad uh, weather. And, you know, it don't have to and, uh, and if you keep that open, that way the, the, some of the moisture, you know, because that doesn't go the whole way up on this cloak, uh, would keep a little bit of air moving, uh, maybe to fight condensation. Uh, I do, I heard that they took this cloak and made it longer in the back, which is cool, because if you use it like that, yeah, you can put some gear on the sides and around the back a little bit, but there's not much room. So Blackie must have got one of the newer ones, and I got one of the older ones. But that doesn't, that's still a good shelter for a minimalist. It's light, small, it's just what I want. And then in the fall, when the bugs ain't real bad, I don't have to carry this. And I can carry this in my haversack. And if it rain kicks up or I have to spend the night, it gives me some shelter. But uh, that's the only two things I see. And I'm using my hiking stick because I don't have two big trees nearby. And I wanted to shoot this video. But I got a drum tight. So if it would rain, it would wash off, or rip off, run off, and uh, it wouldn't pull. That's why I like the, the extra stakes here, so that the water sheds off the same way on the other side. There's not a chance of pulling and then kind of rolling in under you. Okay. Can I... What? Can I go over there? Well, I'm gonna tear this down and uh, so like share and subscribe it's really not a bad tent i just like i said the only thing i would do is take this and run it underneath so you can hook this underneath so this comes out and gives it a little bit more protection that's the only thing i really really would like to see all right, I'm still going to use it on the Appalachian Trail, but uh, it's way lighter than my three-pound tent. It's only, even with the bug net. And then, the thing of it is, if it's not going to rain, I can just put the uh, bug net up and cowboy camp with it, and the, I'll get a good sleep. I won't get chewed up by the mosquitoes. You know, up in Maine, so I have this if it's gonna rain, and this for the bugs. So I got the best of both worlds. All right, catch you later. I already did that.